Danny, you said no to the cream, but the marshmallows were too good to reject, I believe. No, no, it's uh, been a while since I've had some marshmallows and hot chocolate, so... Uh, <laughs> special occasion? On. Yeah, special occasion. Exactly, I like that, I like that. How, how are you getting on anyway? You seem like you're very in good spirits, as, as always. No, I'm absolutely loving it. Obviously, um, I've come up, I've scored the goals that I said I was going to score, so um, that obviously gives me that confidence that I, I belong here. And, I'm, I'm very happy. Of course, but I, I said to you before, let, let's go right back to the start and talk yeah. the Danny Johnson story yeah. from the beginning because initially you had to be patient, didn't you? And that never really phased you at all. You seemed like relaxed from the off. No, no, um, to be honest, I knew when I was coming up I had to lift my game and um, I knew I had to be patient those first few weeks, but I knew in time I'd get my chance and if you get your chance and you take it, then you've, you've took it, haven't you? So you deserve to be in the team. So um, I've come up here, I've took my chance being patient the first few weeks and good. Yeah, enjoyed it, yeah, that's yeah, for yeah. sure. Coming from the level you came from as well, Danny, what was the initial experience like for you coming up to the top flight and playing yeah. in some of the games you have already? Well, obviously, you, you come here for the big games, don't you? You test yourself against the, uh, the Celtics, the Rangers, the Hibs as well. Um, so that's why you come up here, to prove yourself at a higher level. Um, initially, I knew I had to step up a few levels, so um, tempo of the game is completely different to what I've been used to, so. Yeah. Um, but I had to quickly adjust. Yeah. Was it a more well, a fitness fitness thing than anything else? Because obviously your finishing instincts never go. Was it in terms of getting yourself up to the, the sort of pace of the game? Do you think initially? Um, yeah. Obviously, I had seven eight weeks off in the summer compared to the the lads had three weeks, so you don't really lose that much fitness in in three weeks. Where uh, England, you finish at the end of April, so it's difficult to maintain that fitness as much as you can do yeah. at home by yourself. You can never replicate training, so exactly. the first few weeks I had, to, I had to work hard. Let's look off the pitch a bit as well in terms of settling into new yeah. surroundings coming up from England. Yeah. You seem like you're settling in even more as the weeks go by. Is that no, all simple? the lads are good as well. Um, yeah. The area is pretty similar to back home as well, so that helps. Yeah. Um, we've got a steel town back in uh, Middlesbrough and Redcar, so... Yeah, yeah. Um, it's per perfect fit, really. Forged from steel, yeah. Danny Johnson. Yeah. <laughs> but looking forward as well, I think I said to you at the weekend, after you scored yet another goal, the break, is that coming at a frustrating time for you in terms of you want to keep the run going, or is it a good thing? Yeah, initially, yeah. Um, obviously, as a striker, once you get that momentum, you take it game by game. And I just knew going into the games, the last few games, that I was going to score. Yeah. Um, so, obviously, you want that next game to come because you want to you get that next goal. Obviously, with the break, you need that little bit of a rest and work hard this week um, and then come back fresh for hearts. I know it may sound like an obvious thing to say, but if you hadn't got your goals early, are you the type of guy that that would play in your mind had you not got off the mark so early? Would you be getting um, frustrated with yourself? Or? I would be a little bit frustrated because my game is scoring goals and uh, that's the main thing that I bring to any team. So um, I needed to get off the mark just to prove that I can score at this level. Because maybe as a striker, if you leave it a few weeks and you haven't scored, then you start maybe doubting yourself. But I know once I've got that goal, I've scored my goal. Right, let's kick on. So, And I think I've done that in the last few games. Yeah. A lot of the wider media maybe look at our team and they see big corner, big Curtis up there, and they yeah. talk about how physical we are. What's it like playing in that side with that physicality when you bring something different to the team? Um, I think I am a little bit physical, but obviously me and our boy and uh, Sam are quite tall, physical, intimidating characters, so I'm a bit more small than them, so I've got to do it in a different way. Um, but obviously, they've been at this level, or higher, um, so I've had to step my game up to match them. Yeah, does that, in a, in a way, make things, not maybe not harder for you, but does that give you something that maybe the other boys don't have? You bring something else to the team that maybe people don't see when they look at us initially? I think so. Um, Obviously, the scoring goals is the main part of my game, but I do like to link the play. Yeah. Um, the gap is out of wearing me about holding the ball up as well, so um, <laughs> I've got to work on that. But there's there's quite a few things that I need to work on to add to the team. So uh, just continue working hard and yeah. it'll all come together. Absolutely. You're not the only new guy in the team, of course, as well. But how how is all the relationships gelling together as a team uh, for you, particularly, Danny? How you yeah, going? no. Um, when we went away to Dublin, it was. We had a week with everyone, so everyone got on. Um, it's an easy group of lads to, to get on with, so I think all the new signs have all come in gel pretty quickly, to be honest. Yeah, I guess now with the international break, you'll allow yourself to have at least one hot chocolate. Is that yeah, <laughs> you've maybe got a hot chocolate. And uh, don't tell the uh, fitness coach, Ballsy, but uh, <laughs> there's a tradition uh, back home in Millsborough. Many people wouldn't have heard of it, but uh, a chicken parmesan. 
Oh, there we uh, are. Very right. trademark. I found somewhere in Glasgow, Kilimanjaro's wow. that uh, that go. does it. So I'm gonna have to go down there sometime. But oh, gonna have to, I'll be right? treating myself to a palmer when I go back home. <laughs> Quite right. Well, we'll <laughs> yeah. we won't tell Bosey. Don't yeah. worry. You enjoy that, Danny. Yeah, yeah. Thanks a lot yeah. for sitting down with me. No problem. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.